What is going on, Yosh Reloaded and Yosh fans? My name is Rushing Ape, or you guys can call me Ape, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a Moab on the map terminal playing 6v6 Domination. And yes, Terminal has arrived again to Modern Warfare 3. It was returning back from Modern Warfare 2. Now, this map, or the maps, actually came out at 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for me, 5 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, and I don't know about the other times, but there's three new maps that are in multiplayer. There's Terminal, Offshore, and Decommission. Those are the three new maps that both came out, uh, you know, in the morning for 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for me. Um, and, you know, they're pretty awesome maps. Obviously, Terminal is going to be the favorite one out of all of them because, you know, it's returning back from Modern Warfare 2. Now, I'm going to go over Modern Warfare 2's Terminal compared to Modern Warfare 3 com uh, Terminal. As you guys can see, while just watching this gameplay, you can kind of see it's a little bit different than, you know, what you're expecting in Modern Warfare 2. Um, and, yes, stuff has totally changed if you guys have not played Modern Warfare 2 on our Modern Warfare 3 Terminal. So, uh, this is actually dropped for Elite first, and I believe that uh, non-Elite members will receive Terminal uh, on the 18th, but Elite members got Terminal uh, a day earlier, so it's not that big of a deal. You guys will probably will receive this map. And uh, you guys will probably definitely enjoy it. Now, I wasn't one of the first people that got the Moab on Terminal. Uh, I was probably like maybe like the tenth or so person. Um, but it's still pretty awesome to drop a Moab on Terminal. Uh, and I was staying up all night. I didn't get much sleep. But uh, you guys don't really want to hear about that. My class setup is the Ape Shit class. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, I actually did it with the Moab with every sensitivity. If you guys know me from that. Uh, but I'll kind of explain the ape shit class. It's the ACR with the silencer and extended mags, and then my uh, I have a portable radar and C4 as my equipment, and then my starting perks are scavenger, hardline, and stalker, with my specialist loadout being steady aim, sleight of hand, and recon, and uh, my MP9 with a silencer as a secondary. Yeah, uh, so that's like the whole ape shit class because it, you know it's not just because of how the ACR with the silencer and extended mags is. But I just love it how I have all the perks laid out. So let me kind of compare Modern Warfare 2 Terminal with Modern Warfare 3. And I'm going to say right off the bat that uh, this Modern Warfare 3 Terminal does not feel as if it's like the Modern Warfare 2 feel. Um, I, I miss the Modern Warfare 2 feel. I wish it was kind of like that. Well, they changed it up. And obviously there's not going to be like noob tubes. Uh, people sitting up on that top thing spraying through the walls with an RPD. Because, uh, you know, the spawns flip more often in Modern Warfare 3. So, as you see, the texture and the colors are a little bit different than Modern Warfare 3. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, I mean, sorry about that. Um, you know, Modern Warfare 2 had, like, a little bit bright more colors, and these are kind of, like, a little dull, faded colors. Um, and right here, this is actually the library, but it's kind of like a computer room now. Uh, so, Burger Town, actually, I think it's not named Burger Town anymore. I'm not too sure what it's named. Uh, but, like, kind of like the main rooms that were in Modern Warfare 3, uh, Modern Warfare 2 Terminal. Uh, have changed and basically everything has changed uh, with the color, the color scheme, um, and then like the rooms and whatnot. And I do believe that you actually can get on the plane in the uh, terminal. Obviously, uh, I've seen people get on there, and uh, you know maybe there's gonna be some trick shotters in SND. You know, go up to the top right there. Um, not many people actually go up there, believe it or not. I haven't really dealt with many people up there except for that one optic guy that I killed uh, earlier in this game, but. I do pick off the Moab right about now, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this, so if you guys want, come check out my channel, I'm going to be posting more of the DLC Moabs on my channel, and I will be live streaming them too, so uh, definitely come check out my channel, we'll see you guys soon, have a nice day, peace out. 